today I would like to walk through the Singapore Math Primary Common Core Edition for Level 3B. So stick around. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me. On my channel, we talk about all things homeschool and truly just enjoying this journey. So I appreciate your time and I'm happy that you're here. Today, we're gonna to talk math, specifically Singapore math. So Dimensions is their newest math program. So if you're interested in seeing some information about Dimensions, I will link a video um, with regards to Dimensions. But today we're really going to focus on primary math. As with all of the Singapore math curricula, the primary mathematics common core is separated into two parts of the year. So you have an A and a B. I currently have the B here. And each section, each part of the year will have your textbook, workbook, tests, and then I have the teacher's guide. Now for Common Core, they will have a teacher's guide. So the textbook is truly what you will be teaching out of. It walks through what each part of the textbook is. And then here's our table of contents. Remember, this is for the second half of third grade. If you'll notice at the end of each lesson, there is a review, which I will highlight that here in just a few seconds. Each lesson opens up with uh, talking about a real world, how does this impact? So for example, this is the watermelon is as heavy as the dictionary. So you're talking about two things that you're used to and how to compare that. And then it goes into, you have questions Here's some more questions. Now this bar modeling, if you are not familiar with Singapore math, they do utilize this bar modeling throughout their different curricula. So we'll just flip through just a few pages so you can see that you're going to have a really nice color on this. You have some nice pictures. Um, there are a number of different questions within each page. Now here is your review. So you're reviewing what you just learned and then you go into the next chapter. Singapore Math is a mastery program, which means they are expecting you to have mastered these concepts by the end of the section. So now we're into the review for volume. And so this review is really nice because it gives you a chance to see if you need to go back and review anything else, any of those concepts before you move forward. Okay, and then we have fractions, some nice pictures. This is what the students will have in front of them when you are teaching. These pencils are the pages in the workbook that relates back to what you had just learned. At the end of the book, you have your final review and then there's a glossary, which again is in full color. This is the map, so it will show you what standard you will be satisfying with the various lessons. That is the textbook. So now let's look into the workbook. So this is where once the student understands the concept from the textbook, the workbook provides um, additional practice. Now the workbook is not in color. You can see that um, there's just a few problems on the pages. And so it's, it is, it's truly a workbook. Now, within the test book, um, so a few things to note with the test book. Number one is for each unit, there is a test A and a test B. So we're still on unit six. There's a test A and a test B. So, so then midway through this semester, you'll have a continual assessment. And so there is again, a test A and a test B for the continual assessment. And you will be able to see this is, 
And so this is everything that you have learned thus far. So whereas the tests for the individual chapters are truly just for that chapter, for this continual assessment, you will be going back through for all that you have learned so far. Um, as I mentioned, there's an A and a B. And so this can really help you to go back and see if you need to revisit any of these concepts before you move on to the next chapter. In the back of the test booklet is the answer key. So here's your answer key. It does do really well of explaining how the answers were achieved. Now let's focus on the teacher's guide. So for the teacher's guide, you have your table of content, and then this describes truly the Singapore method of teaching. One thing to note is for this primary common core, there are challenging word problems and extra practice for grades one through five that you can purchase. That is an additional purchase. Here is the scope and sequence for all of the Com primary mathematics common core edition it is aligned with the common core state standards so the other thing to note is this primary edition goes up through grade five only so this is more of information on how to teach it this diagram right here the concept process etc this is truly one of the core parts of singapore math This would be considered your lesson planner. So within a unit for each different concept, this will tell you how many days you need to be working on it or how many days they recommend that you working on it. For example, with kilograms and grams, they've separated this into three days, but then down here where we're talking about comparing capacity, this is one day. So this will tell you how many days they anticipate you spending on each of the different concepts. Then when you get into the suggested material, this is going to be your extra material, like your linking cubes, the objects to weigh, et cetera. So they have this listed for what they are anticipating you utilizing in this 3B section. When you come over here, it shows you for each one of these concepts, here's your textbook, workbook, and then if there's primary digital um, pieces that are available, okay. Okay, so now let's get into how they anticipate you teaching the lesson from this book. So for example, we are now on unit six, mass and weight. Here's your objectives, here's your common core standards. And now that that is for the whole unit. When we go to lesson 6.1, here's your objectives and they have some notes. For the individual, so this right here is what I consider the meat of the teacher's manual. <laughs> So for the 6.1a, you have objectives, the materials that you'll need, then they show you the picture within the textbook. So here's the picture within the textbook. Um, so you can see it, truly the only difference is this one is black and white and smaller than where the student's text, the student has their picture there. So they have very specific information. This so this contains very specific information of how you can discuss with your students. So for example, ask students to imagine an adult and child sitting on a swing, which one's harder to push? And so then you ask them to explain. So it's truly um, understanding the overall concept and then relating it to your, a real life situation. So you have comparing using a balance, estimating, and then the discussion assessment. And then this shows you your workbook pages that are true, just actual pages, copies of the pages in your workbook, except this ha just has the answers. So that is a general idea of how they utilize the teacher's guide. Now let's go to the very back because I do think there are some interesting portions in the back of the teacher's manual. So this is your enrichment activities. It's additional practice for the different portions of individual units. As you can see, quite a few of them are word problems, but definitely not all of them. Um, they also provide within the teacher's manual, sometimes there's games that they ha um, offer for 
options to do. One of the other components that they have available in this teacher's manual is mental math. For some of the lessons, they anticipate you having a time for mental math to really keep those skills sharp. So for example, if I look at lesson 6.4c, they have the objective, but then they also list two mental math exercises to complete. In the back are the answers to the mental math. So here would be your answer to um, mental math 6.4c1. So that is really nice to have those answers. And then you can see, you can see here are the worksheets and then you have here are your answers. So it tells you when to do these worksheets and then it also provides the answers. So that is very nice. This book also has additional resources. Uh, for example, if you have nine, if you're at 9.1, which is fractions and you are doing 9.1B comparing fractions, you have your objectives, but then you have materials and it tells you that you need fraction bars. Well, it's in Appendix 9.1B. And so here you go, 9.1B. So you can just make copies of these and you have them right here all together. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will continue to make these curriculum flip throughs and comparisons. And if you have any questions, please drop those down in the comments below and I will answer to the best of my ability. I hope that you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again soon.